Okay, here's a little tip. If you travel with a bunch of kids, make sure you do a head count. Mm. Halfway down the sidewalk outside of the arch, we realized, where's Chloe? Wow. <laughs> back to No Ordinary Path. I'm Kristen. My husband John is a travel nurse and we have three kids and a dog and we live in a 37 foot travel trailer that we named Wendy. I am currently at the laundromat in our RV park on the very last day in Como, Columbia, Missouri. I wonder how bad the laundry is gonna sound. <laughs> The laundry cannot be any louder than my children were in the RV today. They were stir crazy. It was snowing, which is an interesting problem to have when you're trying to leave a town and it's icing like a Midwest ice storm, sealing everything open. It might be very difficult to close it up. We're gonna find out tomorrow. This is the last day of our contract tomorrow, which for you guys is today. We head out for contract number six. Woohoo! But we had one more thing to explore while we were here in Missouri, and that was St. Louis. Yes, we have already been to St. Louis, but this time was a very special trip because we got to go with my longtime best friend, Amy, and her kiddos who are from the Kansas City area. It was a quick one overnighter and back, but it was the perfect way to end our winter break as we have now started back to school, sort of. Like we're taking this next week off because we're traveling. But we did get a week of schooling, so yay! Amy and I go way, 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 way back. Her family is basically like an extension of our family. We are longtime best friends and through the years we have lived in different places across the country. It's the kind of friendship that like you just start back where you left off last time, like no time has passed at all. I really hope you have a friend like that because it's amazing and Amy is that friend for me. And our kids have kind of grown up knowing each other. We were both doulas for each other's middle children, which was so awesome. And we were in each other's weddings, of course. Now we go way, way back, as far as way back goes. Still standing by your side, you know. that while we were in town, two hours from town, that we do something really fun together. We decided that we would just go stay in a hotel in St. Louis. We are here in St. Louis just for an overnight. We're meeting my longtime best friend and her, and her kiddos. Amy, Amy, Amy. Yeah, and we're staying at the hotel. Yes, and we're staying at a hotel.
try this because it's a lot quieter out here. Like, who is that crazy woman with the flashlight outside the laundry room? It's me, it's okay. I'm just vlogging, it's okay. When you live inside of an RV, a hotel stay can be an extreme luxury because bathtubs and nice showers but also swimming pools and free breakfast and all that but it's especially fun when you have adjoining rooms with your best friends Nine, can, I, can I get a yes dad? Yes, yes dad! dad. Okay. Yes Sean! Even though you're not my dad I'm gonna call That's you dad. I am still a dad. <laughs> Still yes, a dad. Yes, still a dad. You're a dad. Oh, the chaos. I love it. Oh, Wow. You can get a green Look at that nice video. green Corvette. <laughs> wow, it's look at the Corvette. arch. Did you see my car? Uh, yeah, right, right there. The see? Wow, yeah, that is, that cool. is cool. Room. You guys are cracking me up. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Hotel breakfast is the best. Are you serious? You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> These are better than my waffles? Uh -uh. she cry? No. Only for mom. <laughs> you only cry for me. I think it's a show. Plus miles in 2020. Nice. 
Turn it up, turn it up, we got this. Isn't this a crazy different experience than last summer? Yeah. Well, actually, oh, it was well, two summers ago. When we first were here, you know, it was it, it was in the middle of the summer, and it was on a weekend, and it was nuts. I mean, it was the, the, the wait time to get to the, where the elevators were, were was two hours. Yeah. So it's a very different experience on a Monday off season. Totally different. And even up here in the arch, there's not that many people. No. And down in the lobby, there's there's no lines. There's like we got into the next time. Yep. It was yeah. We recommend coming in January on a weekday. <laughs> oh. St. Louis we stayed in Queens Casino RV Park which cost us about $55 and came with you know full hookups but it was basically a flat parking lot with hookups and we were able to ride our bike across the bridge which was a super fun experience over to the arch and all around and we got to explore that way and it was really fun and a very economical way of seeing the arch and seeing downtown St. Louis this time we stayed in a hotel you can't really put a price on staying in an adjoining room with your best friends though there's just that's just not going to happen in an rv so we are so grateful that we got to do this and it was a great end to our time in missouri and we are ready to hit the road a couple of things coming up for you guys we actually had a hitch failure so watch for our real talk tuesday because you're going to want to find out what happened to our hitch and why we got a new one and then we also are going to do a Columbia wrap up. And then we're going to do our video about all the things that we had to do to get ready to head out of town, including losing brakes. Cause that's always fun. <laughs> In two weeks, you'll get to see us take off on our journey towards Arizona. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, we have so much crammed into a one week period to get us to Arizona and then we have a meetup planned as soon as we arrive with Diary of a Family and a few other people that are meeting us at Saddle Mountain in Arizona. So if you're in the area, comment below so we can get hooked up and maybe have a meetup with you because we're super excited to see some friends um, out on the road. I mean, I mean honestly, I'm just, I'm just so excited for the sun and flip-flops. I'm gonna go buy myself a new pair of flip-flops. That's how bad I wanna wear flip-flops. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe to our channel. We're so glad you're here. Leave us a comment so we can connect and say hello, and we will see you on the road. <laughs>